Yo guys, what's up? I just started the game Zero Space. Zero Space is a game that has gone into alpha today, the 5th of January, and will be for about two weeks. This game kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, nowhere? Nowhere. <laughs> We've all heard about Stormgate, the new RTS from the Blizzard Exodus squad, uh, in what is meant to be the intellectual successor of StarCraft 2 or WarCraft 3, etc. Zero Space is another project, and I am not sponsored to play this but i have been given access to this before today before the public early access uh, so i don't actually know anything about the game because i'm not sponsored i'm not on need to know to tell you anything about the game <laughs> i'm just allowed to stream it and that i wanted to do why for our own selfish pleasure it's a new rts that i don't know when it's coming out actually could be 2024 could be 2025 but it is playable now and I saved myself for you guys. I did not play with the secret early access streamer privileges because I wanted to share the experience with you. So here's our first look of the game. We're gonna see if this game is good or not. Just launched the game, uh, it is on Steam. They did a Kickstarter to get some extra runway. They're not gonna be 100% free to play apparently. The, the, the model is still subject to change, but not 100% free to play, okay. All right, so that's that's about all I know. I just asked. They've got some people working on the game that I knew via StarCraft 2, and that's where I've done most of my communication, which isn't much. We just had a couple of back and forths. We just launched the game. We got everything set up. Let's go check things out. Now, starting music. Sounds all right, yeah? And sh shall we watch the trailer first as well before we go on? I like the look. I think it looks uh, cohesive. Cohesive, good distinction between different factions. The projectiles look fun. The buildings and units look good and fun. I, I do believe I have more words in my dictionary to describe what I'm seeing here. But let's keep it simple for now. interesting racial concepts yeah i think graphics look clean it's a uh, very starcraft like right in a, in a sense um yeah i think uh all right look when there's a new game you will judge it by several different things you will judge it by the games that came before it you'll judge it by the games that are coming out together with it you'll judge it by how it looks the cover art the music when you jump into the client eventually you'll judge the gameplay but the first things you see are the graphics the sound the trailers and so far i think those are pretty good i think they're off to a good start all right let's continue let's show you the game and let's show me the game i've not played yet okay i've hosted a game ah there is ai perfect gives me a chance to discover the game so how many factions are there we can choose colors pick one of each pick one of each Okay. Protectorate, Grell, and the Legion. Oh, so you make a com you make a combination. So there's not like uh, just three races and that's it, three factions. You choose one of three factions and then one of four mercenary clubs. Reminds me of uh, Age of Wonders Planetfall, the sci-fi version of Age of Wonders, where you choose a, a faction and then you have a secret tech. So you can create some customizations. So effectively, we have 12 combinations here, right? Three times four. Interesting. So let's make loose little comparisons. This would be what Terran is, uh, the human faction. Uh, then you've got the biological one, which is like Zerg. This looks like a Hydralisk, but these look like people. And then there's a lot of insect, uh, insect-like things. This is a uh, praying mantis and we've got a spider etc okay and then this would be protoss if it is based on starcraft uh also looks humanoid but so are protoss yeah it feels pretty similar to like terran zerg protoss right let's uh let's start with protectorate we'll just go with a standard protectorate and marin 
Marin, a military faction that protects their worlds and hardly ventures beyond. They focus on community and security. So basically most of you and me. Homebodies. Stay at home. Let's go. We're against AI relaxed. Let's start. All right. What do we got? Where's the sound? There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, baby. For the Protectorate. Blueprint's ready. I'll build it. I'll get to it. You're the boss. My best designs. Please hand me the drill. Tools in hand. Oh, I have to pick a hero. I'll pick a dread hero. Hero will spawn in zero seconds. For the Protectorate. Come on, pick. Make a decision. Commando awaiting instruction. Target in sight. Order, Building sir. complete. Oh, that was pleasing. Building complete. Oh my god! Holy crap! Assault first. Why did I you attack? Oh, I must have pressed A at some point. Oh, wait, I remember. <laughs> I was trying out WASD scrolling. So A was still remembered. Triangulated foundations. Wow, that's a great start to my Zero Space career. I killed Retiration. my first dude. Zero new mercenary groups ready. All right. So, just say where. Where's the UI? Right. Trying to the foundation. Wait, this is my. Ooh, baby. I have a single unit that builds everything. Look, this guy has a name. This is a dread hero in the UI. But when you control this, there is no name. So this is nameless. It's a nameless building maker guy, Order. which is why when it died, it immediately gave me another one. My best designs. He's just a worker. He doesn't even get to have a name. Bob Tools the Builder. That's you? Blueprint's ready. Yeah. I'll build it. You're the boss. So he has an SUV and he'll build everything. All right, but you don't get more SUVs. You just have one, or at least it seems so. Mining seems automatic, which is a decision that many RTS seems to have made in an effort to bring RTS to a wider audience. RTS ultimately is kind of a nerdy game reserved for extremely intelligent people. So this simplification process is an attempt to bridge the gap between the average and the genius. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Please so we got Builder Guy. We got a hero. We have a mercenary outpost. And we're under attack. Hey, I thought the AI was relaxed. Can you attack too? Probably not, right? You're just a worker, dude. Do I have any abilities? What's this? Disrupting shot. I think we won that one. Sticky bomb. ZXC. Okay, same as the items in Dota, right? So this is the Protectorate headquarters, and we can make a harvester. It can be equipped with a healing aura. So we're making harvesters now, and right-clicking cancels them. And how much Cheers. does a harvester cost? 150. And yet, I did not see the hexite drop when I clicked them, which would mean that they that it only drops the moment the new one goes in production. Interesting. So Zero Space, Easy. at least for now, has made the decision that you can queue up units without tying up your resources. Ready. Thank you. Uh, without tying up your resources. That's an interesting decision. Is this the game that Scarlet and Cancer worked on? Yes. So in other RTSs, you'll tie up your resources. It was known as a macro management error to queue up seven tanks. Do you guys remember in StarCraft II, early days of Wings of Liberty, the German player Goody had what was called Goody Macro? He was this Terran that was infuriating to lose to because you knew you were macroing much better than him, but he was such, such a pro at Terran mech. I could still lose to him sometimes, even though his factory has seven tanks queued up. But yeah, because his money is tied up there. But apparently, uh, here you can queue up without spending. Interesting. 
So I am using mouse wheel drag a bit. Yo, where are they going? Oh, it's one harvester per field. And they automatically find the nearest place to go to. Whatever this is. High yield flux deposit. Flux. Okay. So these harvesters go get flux. And they automatically... And this is another automation that seems popular among RTS developers these days. This is addressing the problem of accessibility. The onboarding into an RTS is scary for many players. Do they give a lot of flux? Let's see. And what is flux? We don't know yet. And is there a cap in flux we can have? No, it's just relative, isn't it? Relative to, to the amount of hexite. But it's not though. If it was all relative, then 700 should be over here. Unless it says intrinsically, flux is worth two to two and a half times as much as what hexide is worth in that case this makes sense but let's see what happens when flux overtakes hexide and by the way damn my game discovery style <laughs> or do you like it because some people may be like just play the game just make some units and just go attack and fight why do you have to be bogged down in all this miniche? But that's just how I am. I, I can't help it. It's okay? All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm trying to determine... Enemy sighted. Oh, oh my God. Oh no. We're on it. Get him, Dread Hero. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to determine what this artificial filling out of this bar means and how it's relative to one another. But it seems not really that relative it, this kind of reminds me of the subscriber goal that some streamers have and that i've had before where it's like it would be great if we could get 50 subs today but then when it gets over 50 it just keeps going like you don't stop the sub goal <laughs> just because no we're subbing we've reached it no you can max out this bar and you can keep going All right, we won again. Oh my God, he's got a jetpack. <laughs> okay. But now let's actually restart and I'm gonna try to kind of simulate a little playthrough. Of course, I'm not familiar with all the gameplay mechanics yet, but I would like to attempt without knowing anything. Oh, there's the end of game screen. I would like to attempt without knowing anything, just playing the game. So we're protector at Marin. We're not gonna diversify which race we're playing yet. Faction. The sword face. All right. Try so we have a builder. What can we build? Operating tower supply platform. 15 supply. Where's my supply? Zero out of 15. Can I make any mercenaries yet? No. Can I make harvesters? Yes. It is automatically building extra hexite exploitation extractors. Two are ready and two are automatically queued up and building. So you don't have to do anything there. Uh, supply platform can be upgraded to provide additional utility. Then let's design. build that then. So this might become a barracks. Just uh, they built like an acolyte or a, a probe from the Blizzard, Blizzard games and that it starts and you don't need to continue uh, building on it. Uh, mining outpost which builds extractors to mine hexite. Build so this is like a new main base and it costs 400 hexite. Building complete. So we could immediately with the starting money uh, we could immediately with our starting money start an expansion, which is what we're doing now. The supply platform can be built out into an enhanced supply platform, which is another 10 supply. Or we could upgrade to get flying vision over a large area, or we could become a defensive missile launcher to the platform. So none of these are barracks. It seems like this is a barracks, which is currently time gated, which might be to prevent you from being able to rush an opponent immediately. Please have me the um, I'll build I thought it. he's building here, but not actually he's not. This does br actually bring into question a very interesting point. I'll get you can it. create a blueprint of a building that you do not yet have enough money for, which is a departure from how Age of Empires 4, Age of Empires building 2, Starcraft 2, Warcraft 3, Warcraft 2, etc. works. And when you have enough money for something, it looks green as we saw on the blueprint here at the start of the game. When you don't, it's yellow, but you can nonetheless prepare the plans for it, which is actually quite interesting. This is a quality of life improvement that 
I think is a good functionality. I think it's a nice feature. All right, I also saw that you could build a barracks, basic infantry production structure. Let's build that over here. I like the little hex around it. It allows you to understand where buildings have collision with terrain without making the entire screen look like a big hex patchwork, which would hurt immersion and it would create a lot of visual clutter. Just say Okay, so we're making a bunch of barracks. Triangulator foundations. Facade first. That's uh, four barracks. That might be way too much it. for all I know. Building complete. Tools in Considering hand. the worker is I'll completely expendable, can I use it as Please a throwaway scout? Them. I noticed that when it died, I could immediately uh, make another. Not enough scout, command. Aha! Not enough hexite. Prediction is cute. Enemy it psychic. Look, my worker my is dying, and when it dies, I immediately get another one. Now I can send it again. Commando, is this uh, the infinite scouting exploit? Is this the most broken ground. build of 2024? Building complete. Building complete. What's the queue? What's the head? Building yeah. Complete. So my main base, I can Not make harvesters. Scout. It will tell you that you don't have enough hexite, but that it will queue production. Ah, oh my god! Stun blast! Orders. Building complete. Yeah. Stun him! Bam! Got him! Oh my god! What's that? Oh, he moved out of the way. That's very kind, sir. <laughs> He's like, oh, you want to make a light turret? Let me move out of the way. <laughs> Normally, I only expect such cooperation from Enemy my closest range. friends, but uh, Not thank you. Scrap, Not enough Enemy scrap. Circuit. Wait, what is scrap? Oh, it's called Hexite and Flux now, but I think in the past it was called Scrap when they did the voice lines for these games. Dota 2 has a functionality that when a similar unit dies and is respawned, it remembers its control group. Unit production I like this functionality. RTSs do not have this functionality. Should they? Question unit mark. Discuss in the comments. Production because this worker was foundations. control group 2, which you can see here, unit but when it died, it was not control group. Oh my god. Complete. Oh my god. Is now idle. I'll build he did not become control group 2 again. I'll get to it. And uh, should he? Not enough scrap. I did notice that all the new units immediately get added to my control group 1. Look look at this. Normally in an RTS, you have to select the new units, type, type shift 1. And then they get added Unit to control group one. Complete. But oh my god, they're all being added. Production so that order. thing that I was discussing already exists. You know, Orders. if you're a cute little nooblet, oftentimes you will find that it is quite a lot to keep Enemy track of. Psychic. To constantly Closing. need to add units to your group. Unit production. Production complete. Production is now idle. And so they take they took care of this. Enemy in range. Um, I find that my cursor does not change look enough. Other RTSs, when you type attack command, look, look at what's happening to my cursor right here. When I type A, it becomes red to show that I'm issuing an attack command. But other RTSs will go from either a hand or a cursor to a red X, attack this. This is very subtle, which may be pleasing to some UI designers, but I can tell you it's too subtle. You picked auto group option. Yeah, I understand that that would be an option uh, because not everyone wants that, but I'm letting you know that it exists. Enable auto assign control group. You can add them all to one. It's a very nice option to have. I won't be using it, but it is nice that it exists. It's very nice for cute little nooblets. Not enough. So what does this need? Requires research lab. Where's my worker? Just say Ooh, here. Building complete. There must be a hotkey for worker as well. Let's build a research Tools lab. All right, let's check out attack. Right, let's go. Ready. Hey, he's got something here. Control tower. Interesting. Yeah. Is that him? Oh, we're fighting the Zerg. Bam. Do you see how my uh, my own units were moving out of range uh, to build the turret? But enemy units should not listen to that. 
Oh, we can make bastions now. Splash damage. Oh yeah, let's get some fire bass. Is there a hotkey that selects all units? I don't know. I like the gun. Oh my god, it's a splash. I like the gunshot sounds so far. I think the graphics is pretty good. Is he gonna explode when he dies? Yeah, I knew it. That's the hallmark of good UI, yeah? When something is so obvious that the first time you see something, you know what's gonna happen. I knew he was gonna explode when he dies. Oh, I don't have enough supply. That's exactly what you want to have. Building upgraded. Operating tower. Enemy sighted. I'll build it. Orders. That's how you want things to look like. Enemy in range. If someone that doesn't know the game can tell what's going on, which is me now, right? Building and in a year from now, if I'm still Building playing this, it'll be some new Building viewer. If, if they're watching for the first time and they know what's going on based on the visuals, you actually have... Oh my god! That was not a good play, but it was interesting. Oh, okay. You have what you want to have for a good esports and stream game. I can build another turret. I probably don't have any attack upgrades. Let's see if we can build any in the research lab. Yeah. Light range infantry, commando, click to research. Oh. Oh, it creates a menu. By the way, I'm losing my guys. Let's let's go back for a bit. Unit production complete. Production this does not, not seem to be an enemy, but I'm attacking it regardless. Yeah. How much supply do I have? 65. Okay. Okay, we have a nice big army now. Oh, production limit is... Oh, you can only have six harvesters. You can only have six harvesters. Interesting. Move, move. Okay, we have a bunch of supply depots that can all be upgraded in theory. My best is hey, boss, I have multiple work. Oh! Every Enemy base has its own SCV. I'll build it. Every base get gets it. to have one SCV. Ready. Building complete. I see. Enemy oh, select all army as F2. Unit production complete. Production is Enemy in range. Idle. Select all army. Select builders F1. Complete. Oh, and then I production guess if I build like a supply depot, it'll complete. use the nearest. Oh, I complete. see. So you can just do F1, build, and they immediately back off a bit yeah. from the building. Interesting. I hear your oh yeah, sure. Go mine from his base. This feels a little BM. Building the AI complete. is a little BM because we had... We had flux here, we had lots of flux. Okay, my question right now is, do we get to have attack upgrades? Reinforcement yes, ready. we do. This research... This research is will deactivate previous research. This global rim limit Enemy reach for this research, okay. Are those Bainlings? Oh no, he did a stun. Oops. Oh no, I lost my arrow. Oh no, I lost everything. Oops. I clicked a lot of abilities. I hard engaged into him. My harvester died. Okay, I noticed the problem. If I Plus click this moment. thing and then I do a move here, Badass. they don't retarget the Yo. guys. I first have Want to give a move command and then a click. Move, move. That's weird. Giving an attack command on this building and then giving a new attack command to acquire any target nearby does not actually work right now. There might be some logical reason for it, but I don't think it's logical. Enemy in range. The sword first. Enemy What's this? Factory. My best designs. Ooh, baby. Triangulated foundations. Just say where. Rectilinear. 
You're the boss. Are those powers Enemy at the range. top? Yeah, I haven't used them at all. Beam up. Teleport a unit to the nearest operating tower or HQ. Drag to select multiple units. Units are healed. Duh, duh. For the right. Enemy sighted. Choose target operating tower HQ by clicking it. Enemy in range. Building complete. Okay. Building complete. Does it cost anything? Cost 0.3 power it. per supply. Building complete. Oh, and this is my power? I guess? Let me see. Oh, yeah. This is my power. Building complete. Hmm. Okay. So it's a very flexible mass use town portal for any units that Enemy you want. In range. And you can choose to do as many as you like. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. And you pick. You pick which base it will go to Our units on your minimap. Hmm, interesting. It's kind of a sick mechanic. And then there's talents. Improved beam up. Beam up delay, heal the mount. That feels kind of Company of Heroes like. Units are under attack. But I like it more than Company of Heroes. In that Company of Heroes, like they start like running home and they go to the med bay, but here they just teleport. It's much easier. Our units uh, are under 15 attack. percent movement speed for vehicles affects avengers strikers disruptors juggernauts and various mercenary units cnc had this really our units are under attack could you like start saving all the our units that get attacked let's see uh would it be op our units are under attack max power passive power gain oh you can only pick one per per row Weapon damage or health and shields for vehicles. Weapon damage for infantry and walkers. Toasted growl. Mm. Yeah, I think these two units Waters look similar are... enough. They look like a marine Yo, and a marauder. Want something? But the bastion has splash damage, Boy, is it? Bust them up. For the protectorate. Yeah. Commando waiting. Could you not recall the harvester? Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, who cares Come about on, one man. harvester? Maybe. We're not Waters playing like for real, for real yet. Yeah. Okay. So I want to see what happens when I get attacked. Move, move. Can I start move, saving? Because I noticed there was a bit of delay. Okay. Wait, where did all those come from? Hey, he's got some poison. Oh, they're close. Did you guys see the cloak? You see this? Cloak. So right now, cloak is quite a vision check. Our units are under attack. You can recall your units, yes. But there is a delay. So it's not very reliable. Now just like Age of Empires 4, Enemy in range. you can control as many units as you like Our in one group. Same as StarCraft 2. But unlike StarCraft 2. They have not used the paging system. So in the UI of the unit units controls, are under there are two things you could do. By the way, I've not made any mercenaries yet, right? Yeah. Nice. Uh, there's two yeah. There's two ways you can our choose to display attack. everything. Either you use the Age of Empires 4 system, Enemy which psychic. might have been used in other games as well, which is you number the amount our per unit. And in doing so, you cannot see the individual details for every unit. For instance, Wait this Marin Badger might have Marin some damage on it, but you wouldn't be able to tell when you look at it here. You see what I'm saying? In StarCraft 2, they also had unlimited in unit... Range. Hold on, let me mute this for a second. In StarCraft 2, you also had unlimited unit selection, but you had a paging system. Each unit did have its own little UI block where you could see its health and you could see its mana, I believe. But because there could be so unit, so many units that cannot all be shown here, you would start getting little pages. Page 1, page 2, page 3. Minute little boxing box numbers that you would have to click. And then you go to page 2 of the completely full UI of Zarklings. 
And then when you click it again, you go to page three, which is where the Hydra list would be, and page four, which is where the Ultra list would be. And then finally, page six is where your Overlords and Overseers are. That's how StarCraft II did it, which meant if you had the syndrome of mass unit selection, where you put literally everything in one group, and you want to interact with the UI for your Overseers, you would have to go to page six. By clicking page six, or you would press tab, which goes to the next unit in your selection, and then you, until you eventually get to the overseer. So here, I have all my units selected in one group, and I'm getting the number of the amount that I have. And when oh I click God. them, oh wow, it's better than AOE four. It's better than AOE four because. You can oh, have everything in one group, but when you left click them, let's go, let's go. you select one of them to move around with. That's so interesting. Look, I effectively on the world map only have one selected, but it still remembers the group from which it came where I clicked. Is it random which one? I don't know. Oh, and now it suddenly forgot. Order, okay, sir. so I select all of these. I click yeah. one. I move here, and then I wait and I do nothing. For now, it still remembers the group it came from. And now it f forgot it. Just in case, within that grace period, you wanted to Enemy add more circuit. Moran Badgers to it. My so if design. I do this, I'm like, yeah, I want one. Oh no, actually, Surely. I want two. I want three. Four. But what is interesting, it says four out of eight which Enemy is the amount range. of moran badgers that i interacted with however it does not select those four by themselves it selects one at a time interesting can i select all probably i mean Enemy look psychic. it's obvious that they're inspired by other games and of course you should because ui is very complicated i'm guessing if i press Control left click here i'm gonna get all the moran badgers and it's gonna Enemy gray range. out it's gonna gray out all the other units and it eight will stay here or it'll say eight out of eight. I knew it. So this is well done. This is well done. If you move with a group and I press one again, now they all go, and then I'm like, only the Moran badges go here. That's really nice. And it it lost the memory of where they came from immediately in this case i wonder why because when i press one it did not lose the memory of where it came from immediately that was quite fast this time it feels faster than the first time i tried it hmm. it did feel faster this time i don't know why i can't explain it yet what do on a, you think on about game the logic. game so far grubby uh i'm impressed so far about the ui improvements that have been made um i don't know if there's any downsides yet that i haven't discovered yet I mean, I have a lot of opinions on many things, but I'm looking at these things and I'm like, okay, how is it going to feel playing the game? Clicking the unit icon is too slow. Uh, what do you mean? This one? Oh, I get it now. It loses memory of where it came from within half a second after it stops moving. It's not time gated. It's idle status gated. Hop. Click once, go here. Stops, half a second. One second, one second. One second after idle time, uh, they lose the cohesion of where they came from. You get what I'm saying? Interesting. I hear your pick. Blueprints ready. Bust them up. Of course you're uh, but this works pretty well. On the way. Tactical Your systems soldiers. ready. This works really well, actually. Yeah. I like this because you know how we had to do it for StarCraft? We would take this and we will go somewhere and then we hold shift. Let's say I want to send four Moran badges here, but not the rest. But I don't want to lose control of my group. This is what I would do. I would click here and then shift click right. four out and then I'll go here. And what you get then is Oh, it's the opposite here. But anyway, that's how you would do it in StarCraft. You send...
the group somewhere and you're like i want six ultras to stay there so i shift click six ultras out and then i give a new command to everyone else but here it's actually inverted which means that you change how you Just think anyway. about it from the the ground up from the root Toasted that ground. means that what is it happening in fact is that i first sent the main group somewhere that i wanted to go and then i'm like i want four of these guys to go here instead and because it actually without my Enemy effort immediately deselects the rest of the group i could now also give a new control group to this faction control group two so that's now these guys so that the next time I press 2, I they listen. Oh, but when I press 1, it still has them in the group, which makes sense. They were still part of the control group. The game is not automatically removing them. But all I need to do is Trying then box select damage. here. Interesting. The shift deselecting still work? From my initial testing, no. Yes, you want something. And also, Escape if these guys are on idle command at any time, is. either because yeah you're bad or whatever right because let, let's say you're like a noob Please it's actually incredibly me. difficult to understand how bad noobs are like non-rts players non-rts players will do things like oh i'm being attacked and then i'll take I'll all of these it. and i'm like defending my base but i accidentally selected harvesters so now my harvester is going to be AFK in my base for the rest of the game because I'm bad and I didn't even know that I did it, right? And then the brother looks, it's like, <laughs> you have idle harvesters, you cute little noob. Ruffles hair, pinches cheek, get into a fight, right? But the game here takes care of that by saying like, okay, you probably want those to work again. So it actually automatically sends them back to work. If you want to overwrite that as an authoritative uh, gamer, you just press H, which is hold command, which is the universally known command in RTS games all across the globe. To not do anything. H. But S Roll. is idle, resume AI. Right? And for military units, that still means to stay where you are, but to engage the enemy when they come. That's S. H. That's, uh... Hey, you don't have to... Yeah, H for hold. What do you mean? You don't have to tell me, Chad. I'm telling you. Okay, so no. you just press stop, you they're can, idle, and they're yeah. like, okay, you probably want me to work. Where to? Take me to fresh side. This is very strange voice acting. Where is the scrap? Tell, tell. Some rough terrain out here. I do not enjoy the voice acting for the Enemy harvesters. Enemy psyched. Yeah, commander. Get the jukes. Our units are under attack. Rolling. Fresh sites are in the middle of the map. Our Come units are under attack. On. It's gonna be rough. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's immersion breaking for me, in my opinion. Rectilinear. Ooh, baby. You got the talent? Top? Yeah, I got talents. I know, I know. Guys, I'm not really playing the game. I'm discovering the game. You're the boss. I'll build it. It's almost like Grubby thinks his viewership hasn't played RTS games before. No, not at all. That's not what this is at all. I'm just not assuming a mastery of them. And I'm explaining how the game can be attractive, potentially, for new players. Yeah, maybe they're temporary voices? I don't know. I'm not going to assume there. that they're temporary. Count on me. We're on it, sir. But yeah. yeah, most of the voice acting so far is not particularly good. Maybe it is all placeholder, I don't know. For the protectorate. I'll get to it. What's that thing in the center? Yeah, so this is like... Isn't this also similar to Company of Heroes? I believe you also level up abilities and games like Warhammer, Ruins of Sigmar, etc. Elite Infantry. Yeah, of course, this is also for the YouTube audience, Link it. You get it. Similar to call the scanning thing on the map. Oh, this is... Uh, maybe this is a watchtower. It seems to be a neutral doodad that you can control. By the way, interesting decision. Oh, I'm capturing it now. Yeah. The more units are in, the, the faster you capture captured. it. And it gives vision. Yeah. And it cannot be destroyed. And it gives experience as well, which would probably feed to more talents. I think blue is the energy and yellow is the experience until you get another uh, talent point. That's probably it. And then when you're level five, you're maxed. Well, we're almost going to get it. 
I guess killing units will give you XP and there's passive gain and there's more passive gain thanks to having this tower. Maximum top bar power reached. Are we going to get an unspent point now? Yeah, there we go. Has a little sound too. So now we can do an airstrike. But it needs two purple. And do we have two purple? Requires airstrips to be built. Ah, and weapon X. Call down a mech, loses health over time and when destroyed sets up nuclear explosion. Call down reinforcements near allied operating towers. You can choose between different units. Let's check this out. So what do we get? We got Commando, Bastion, Avenger, Gunship, uh, Juggernaut, and Strider. Strider then? Requirements not met for producing this unit. What about Gunship? Control W. Control W, Control W. Not enough energy. So we just used all our energy. We summoned four airships. So if I want to select all the airships by itself, I do this. What if I want to deselect them? I don't know how to deselect one group. So what I would have to do is this. Baby. Come on, Make it Which quick. is definitely strange. Ace pilot reporting. Right click? Orders. Oh, really? Oh, right click? Target. Oh! Oh, wow, okay. You see how it's select. Oh, so that's the old way of StarCraft to uh, ungrouping. Notice, by the way, this guy has been deselected, but he's so sympathetic to the crowd. That you can actually <laughs> push him around. As if he's still part of the group. Which, and this goes very deep. Every RTS will have different pathfinding. In, I believe, Warcraft 3 and Stormgate. The unit will go back to where it was. It had an idol here. It may be pushed around a bit to here, but it will then always remember where it was and go back there. I hear That's you. not true for this oh, guy. Yeah. This guy doesn't seem to be Order, able to get sir. free unless I make him free. Where is he actually? Come on, so I right click, I form a new group. One guy is not selected, but he's being pushed around. It's this guy. Yeah, until he's left behind. Yeah. And then he stays in the new location. So there's a pathfinding logic that says stay here wherever you were left since you were idle and you were uh, pushed around but you've been pushed around now here i think it should go back to where it was in my opinion but now that's my opinion uh but now i'm just telling you how it is so there's the fact that there's like the the idea is there turn rate in the game let me check Toasted ground. Yeah. Mm. For the protector. Commando waiting. Construction site. Come on. Pick. Is there a turn right? Orders, sir. I hear no, your pick. There is not. Commando waiting. We're on it, sir. Target. Maybe site. infinitesimally so. Come on. Pick. Do they immediately have full yeah. speed in the direction Post of the click? Orders, mm. sir. I think either there's no turn rate or it's like less than 0.1 seconds. It looks yes to me, fast turn rate. What turn rate actually means is, uh, can you immediately turn 180 degrees without any delay? Uh, if that's the case, then there is no turn rate. Uh, and if it is infinitesimally small, then the turn rate could be like point, like 0 0.01, 0 0.001, whatever. Look at the circle Target instead of the model. Toasted growl. Yeah. Come on, make a I think maybe yeah. there's a tiny amount of waiting uh, turn rate or none. And should it exist, yes or no? I think StarCraft 2 has no turn rate. And Warcraft 3 and Dota 2 do. Right. So We're what's this? It, we got a Chakru crap. Units gain veterancy from kills. Veterancy grants attack, increased attack speed, health and regeneration. Interesting. We have the upgrade, infantry walker damage. Is this something we picked? Veterancy. No, it's baseline. Elite infantry. Infantry units gain 20% movement speed and 10% weapon range. 
Affects commando, bastion, and mercenary infantry units. Vehicle moving in. Oh! What? This tank can move two ways. So this turn rate... Specifically, sideways. But forward and backwards, barely. <laughs> But notice the little jiggle that the circle does. It's like, huh? which actually is that as if the power of turning its gun turret created a little kinetic imbalance, which pretty much feels logical. Or is it because of the uneven ground? But it's kind of interesting that there's only sideways turn rate. So turn rate does exist. This answers the question. I it's just units that run. have none or very little yeah. of it. Come on, make a uh, I can ag agree, by the way, that the AI that has been uh, designated as relaxed is indeed very relaxed. It, it did. Sir. Hey, I stole minerals. I stole hexide when I killed his workers. Oh, that's why there's a neutral creep. It won't let you capture the watchtower until you've got the firepower to kill the crap or at least drive him out of the circle. So you can only neutral get the capture tower captured. when you kill the neutral creep, which is non-hostile. There is a kind of slowly dissipating health bar color the health bar color that he has is red and when it loses health it's like it shows the memory of recent damage with a placeholder thing and i think dota 2 has this as well see see how there's like a delay in immediately losing health and it sh is shown with a brighter plasma red color is this a good decision, yes or no? Move, move. Because while attacking it, it barely disappears. Fighting games have this as well, yeah. I don't like it in any game. Okay, I don't hate it totally, but I think they're overdoing it here and they're also doing it with the wrong color. Showing a dark red, burgundy color, and then showing plasma red, for the recently lost health mechanic makes it extremely hard to read it should be a different color than red what's this charge shot oh it's automatic and i think the red lingers for far too long I don't need to know how much total damage I did recently to it, to this degree, that it becomes visually unclear whether I'm killing it. It's like, you've done half of its damage, you've done a quarter. Especially when you attack a building with a lot of units. It's like, okay, it's still fully alive. No, actually, psych, it's dead. Now there's a couple of things I want to try about unit response and surround and blockability. I always find this interesting because it's literally what made Warcraft Enemy 3 spawn so many... It's... Hold Our on, one sec. Are under attack. It's literally what made uh, Warcraft 3 such a good game and made it spawn so many successful custom game modes is because the way that the units behave in Warcraft 3 creates a good level of intelligence, like a good AI, as well as uh, making it nice to micro your units, like to control units and make it feel meaningful and you can exert skill expression. I think that's part of the reason why Dota 1 and Dota 2 became so successful uh, and popular. Of course, uh, Starcraft 2 has smarter uh, AI, but in it, in the game StarCraft 2, you lose the ability to do meaningful, interesting, skill-based surrounds. So I always check, okay, how does it work in this game? So one thing I'm noticing, when I give a movement command that is not 
on myself, but near myself, nothing happens. It only starts listening when I'm fully outside the circle. And it's a bit funny to see that if it is near enough, the unit sidewalks without turning ever. So you can actually scooch over the map without turning towards it. If you go too far, he'll turn there. But if you don't, he'll go sideways. So that's a bit funny and probably unintended. Okay. Then, I also think that even if I click here, he should move here. I don't think he should see this as I'm already there. Because if I'm already there, this is I'm already there. Then why is this already there? Why is this already there? It shouldn't be. So this is not working well, in my opinion. Okay. Then, let's look at some other things. Uh, if I click here, I want him to finish with his main body over here. Ah, now I understand. Now I understand why this does not procure a movement. He's trying to tippy-toe touch with the edge of his circle, the spot that he's moving towards. No, it's not about a grid. It's not about being a grid. He's trying to touch the point that I'm going to. So what happens when I use multiple units to go somewhere? Both of them try to tippy-toe it. That means if I bring four units, they will surround the circle I'm clicking on, won't they? Yes. They'll never go to the spot I want to. They'll do everything. They're kind of like rebellious puberty children, aren't they? They'll do anything except what I'm asking them. See, now they will kind of surround the area that I click on. When there's enough, you won't notice. It'll be correct behavior when there's enough. They're literally surrounding the area as best they can. So in large groups, it works. But with one group, with one unit, it will feel disobedient and churlish. Okay, now we understand. So if I press stop, they have no uh, current command queue. And if I then move with one group through another, in another RTS, these five will go back exactly to where they were after making way for these five. If they don't move at all, this is considered undesirable because uh, that means it's really hard to get these guys here. But if they don't go back to where they were, then I mess up formation. And so this is how it works in zero space. I think this is a decision that you could find a lot of differing uh, opinions on. Whether they should stay where they got pushed to or whether they should return to where they were. But this is how it works right now. Okay, interesting. Now, of course, I already think I know what I'm going to find when I press H on all these for hold. They will not move out of the way of this club whatsoever. Which creates an interesting pathfinding to the point where this guy does not consider those five to be impassable terrain. For if I gave him the same command past this terrain, he would definitely get it. He knows terrain cannot be passed. So he goes around. The pathfinding works. They can move around the harvester because harvester actually apparently has no collision while it's mining. And they can move past the mineral fields, which looks a little trippy, but it's definitely good for gameplay. So terrain is real, but units provide another challenge. If I move from far enough away, I'm expecting them to flow around these units. And that expectation is squashed. So they actually do not consider the other hold position units to be terrain, and he will just stop. Now the question is, has he been given is he still thinking about the movement command? If I move this guy, these four guys away, will he complete his journey? No. After finding blocked terrain, he will be on an S command, essentially. A stop command. See, I cannot get... I cannot get this guy here. You know why? From this direction, I cannot get him to close the gap. I'm trying to click 
in this open space. But as we know, they only tippy toe your circle. If I click past it, he will try to move through the guys. I'm having this really weird sensation where it's like there's an invisible man in this spot. The only way that I know... Oh my god. The only way that I... What? The only way that I know how to get him there is ironically by not trying to go there. Now I can get him there. No, he went around. What about now? <laughs> The only way I can get him there is by creating a cul-de-sac. Huh? <laughs> I see. I see. So we must create a cavity and then walk behind it in order to make him go there. Whereas it would be really easy in... Uh... Oh, wh oh, what? He was stuck for a bit. Did you see that? <laughs> okay all right this is useful info for the devs i'm sure they're watching i'm laughing here because i think it's funny all right i'm not shaming them like god making games is hard but they're gonna look at this and be like oh we need to work on this right oh i'm sure they're watching don foca all right but it's really funny just let's say if i have no empathy towards the devs and i'm just like a wild wester you know i think this is funny i can't travel out of the circle that i just moved towards <laughs> i can't get out until i probably move here i think hey why is it still circling here huh oh oh i get it he's still trying to go there see look if i click here and i press stop it keeps showing a green thing when he's trying to move there. If I press stop, it's gone. I click this guy again. He's still trying! That means if I move this guy, he will go. He's still trying. <laughs> he's still trying. But, but he can go already. You know, this reminds me a lot of Stockholm Syndrome. You know, he's already free. You open the jail, you open the... You're like, go, and, and, and they don't get it anymore. It's like Illidan. Have you guys read the book Illidan from Blizzard? Illidan, after he got out of his jail of 10,000 years, he still kept doing pacing. Every time he's concerned or worried, he started doing the same six paces back and forth, which was the size of his prison uh, jail. And he could only get out once to run the slate uh, Mayev's guards, and he could suddenly feel... Azanoth blades and he would like call them through the prison uh, In your mind, you're still in the prison in his mind. He's still in the prison. He's still trying to go there, but he's already free By the way, do you notice when I click this he still wants to go there when I click this it lingers for a second or two Even though he does not have that command to go there see when I click these two nothing happens a little bit too long. The moment I don't have him selected, that should immediately go away. Does the blocking path work? When and by the way, I don't know why I always take new RTS games as if I am a QA, a quality assurance tester. But that's just, I guess, how I look at RTSs. Because I know much of this doesn't matter. They can change the values of HP, they can change the values of damage. They can change tech routes. They can add races, remove races, remove units. They can change the music. But the two constants are the graphics, which usually don't get overhauled because it just requires too much development time and money. So I'm looking at the graphics as a major evaluation process. And I find them okay. It's not the best ever, but I think it's better than some. All right? And these kind of things can be improved on graphics. Graphics has many components, right? I think this looks really rudimentary. Not very pretty. But these buildings, they look good enough to me. Good enough for me to enjoy. I think the graphics are fine. If I had to grade the graphics, I'll say a seven. Seven, seven and a half. Which is good enough for me, I don't care. They don't have to be the best. 
music can be improved this one i know ai and pathfinding is very hard it can probably be improved and maybe one of the devs will message me and they say wow there was you know there was a session uh, and and this and this thing will already be improved when i i spoke a bit with the tempest rising devs and uh, they also immediately had like feedback about this and this and that like this we can do this we can't do etc so okay uh, i think pathfinding needs some work right i can get past i can stand next to units only if i move past them this is a problem i want to be able to make walls right with units i want to make full walls with units by clicking like this which is okay if i move in sideways and then click past the wall right if i want to be here i have to click here i think that's a problem uh and now i've tried to make a tight wall and when he tries to go through he can still find gaps i think that's a problem and i cannot close the gap see ah oh, kind of sometimes unreliably so i think that's a problem okay so um that that topic has been covered now let's go try body blocks if this unit moves here can i slow it down meaningfully and skillfully and can he stop me from doing that uh. not very yeah a bit there is influence and you can test this most e easily by having two units move uh, starting at the same time of course kind of and it might be by design because if you do recreate warcraft 3 mechanics perfectly which would of course be hard uh some people may feel like it feels archaic like the units are a little bit too dumb is there a patrol command of course there's a patrol command i didn't even have to check i know based on context and the past experience of the some of the game designers and developers that they would not launch an alpha without patrol i didn't even have to check you just press p and and there you go now how it functions is a different story how does it function let's watch them for a bit I think it functions quite well. The lines look um, a little rudimentary. No different than a line in paint, right? Can that be better? Probably. Not a huge concern, though. They don't seem to complete the full line. Yes, it's the same problem. They touch toes. Although, no, no, no. I think they do complete the full line. They complete their own line. Each one has its own line. This guy goes here. Yeah, they all go to their own line. It actually works really well. They all touch nose on the same dot and they go back to their original location, which is four different places. I'd say patrol actually works really well. Uh, try body block with hold. Okay. When you were body blocking, were you pressing hold? I was not, nor do I ever in games like this. But let's try. It might be different, right? Oh, that actually works better, right? Yeah, that works better. You guys are right. You understood intrinsically that with what I had shown so far, that Holt being the real blocker is the thing that's going to be more effective. It's still hard also because they have the same movement speed. Let's try it with something slower. Yeah, H is S but has a harder exclusion rule for allowing Fresh units to move past. In Interestingly, all of the unit acknowledgement sounds are gone when I mute dialogue and only have music on. But for some reason, harvesters do not need a microphone because their voice is fucking baritone. They do not need a microphone. 
Oh, they have no collision. Harvesters have been given the no collision. The only thing that shouldn't talk because it sounds so bad talks. Can't all right. Wave all day. Does this guy also have no collision? Ah, uh, does. Who's faster? Are they equally? Can I see their movement speed anywhere? No, I don't think so. Very similar movement speed. The harvest no collision seems like a boring choice. Yeah, it's debatable, isn't it? It has advantages and disadvantages. Building upgraded. They did not mean to blow your mind. Where's the heat? What's up? Oh, there's uh there's aerial body Going blocking. In. Yeah, there's aerial body blocking too. In Warcraft 3, Starcraft 1, Starcraft 2, air units can occupy the same space by spam clicking in one place. They will all momentarily occupy the same space and will then fan out as they are given the idle status. Here, the air map is the same as the ground map in a way, in that they can never occupy the same space. Systems online. These units Moon look Bay. equally fast. Tactical systems ready. Oh yo. But yeah, Quantum's halt online. body blocking move, move. works pretty good, Bust see? But because Bad I cannot maintain accuracy Bay. with movement Bad because of this thing. Move, move. Oh yeah. I cannot do ah skill issue. Body blocking is hard, but it's a skill issue. You can probably get better. So it's somewhat exists. Now systems let's try online. surrounds. I put this guy on hold position. If I want to surround him, do I just click here? Almost. Uh, M is not move. Plus the mob. M is focus on unit. Let me see. F10 hotkeys. M. What is M? Camera follows selected unit. Do not want. Can I deselect this? Well. I never use this. <laughs> okay. So M is nothing. Is there a move hotkey? No, there isn't. Interesting. This is useful. If you want to move somewhere without accidentally attacking something, every RTS has a move. Is issue order, issue stop order, pause game, default action tab. Issue order is right mouse button may, uh, currently. Yes. Yeah. But that's not really true, is it? Because this is actually all orders. This is called smart command. Right click on your own unit, get it to follow. Actually doesn't do anything right clicking your own unit does not make it follow he knows he was given a command but he's gonna ignore it right clicking an opponent issues an attack command well, you should be able to get some units to follow another guy hey it does kind of work But Yo, you, you cannot follow a bastion? Oh! Oh my god! You can follow them, but it only works oh, yeah. once Maybe. they start moving first. And then there's Bust a kind of up. delay until the, f the following starts. Tactical systems ready. Yo, yo, follow this guy, but don't make it too obvious. <laughs> move, move. Yo, want something? It's kind of nice, it's interesting. Uh, why is it interesting? Tell me, chat. Why is it interesting? What is it good for? 
I think it's a bad choice to have it. I think it waits too long. And it lets the unit get too far until you follow. It's interesting if you have a unit you want to keep in the back. Right, but that's not what it does, is it? System it stays in the back for a bit. And then eventually, it's kind of like the cartoon where all the characters show up at the edge of the canyon and the second one pushes the first, but they hold on and the third one pushes the second. And then finally, when the fifth one comes, it's also a little pudgy. All of them fall off into the river. That's Tactical what it feels like. Ready. Like, oh, oh, ah! <laughs> with like this kind of comical uh, delay. It's not intuitive, but it could make a great play. Right. It could make a great play if it were an option, but it's not. Instead, what it will feel like is unresponsive. Notice my first reaction. I thought it wasn't working. Look, I right click this guy and he goes immediately because he's far enough away. But Bust him up. I click this guy now. Oh, and he does go. Badass incoming. Boom, baby. I click this guy now. He doesn't even turn to him because he's already Boom near. Here. Look. Systems online. I click him now. Bust him up. He doesn't go. So I think it doesn't work, but it does. You see the problem? So I think it's uh, also not working correctly yet. Then, uh, yeah, so I've kind of discovered a lot of the game mechanics. I haven't discovered the tech tree too much yet. So we've got the operating tower, which is like a main base, like a command center, supply platforms, which have three forms of upgrade. The operating tower can be upgraded. You've got operating tower, which are secondary expansions. The protector at headquarters is your main expansion. Uh, you can make upgrades, which are just extractors, which is how you mine Hexite. And they get auto-built, but maybe you can turn auto-build off. And you can make your own as well. And you can make harvesters. And they have healing aura, potentially. All right. And then your secondary command centers can be upgraded to have a defensive turret. Invulnerable during construction. Hopefully not the operating tower. Hopefully the invulnerable thing is the turret so that the turret cannot continually be destroyed as you're trying to build it. Okay. So we it costs 200 and you get 150 back and you right click it to cancel it. But we are actually invulnerable while building. So in theory, if we want to, we could keep doing this and then our operating tower could not be killed at the cost of 12 and a half hexide per second. That's quite a lot. <laughs> oh, it's five seconds. So in theory, if you were frame perfect, 10 hexide per second, which is 600 hexide per minute, it's quite a hefty cost, but your building will be invincible. Do you get 2000 HP back even if damaged? Probably not, right? Let's check it out. I would assume not, but it's a good question. Okay, look, it rapidly regenerates. I'm gonna upgrade at 1700 and I'm gonna cancel. Will it come back with 1700, 2K or 18, 17? So in fact, oh, these are all the repair drones. Look, there's all these repair drones that are unclickable and they just kind of exist. So in fact, you do not get the free 2000, nor did you benefit from regeneration uh, during its invincibility you lose out on that time but the building is invincible during it interesting does the follow have a leash range which triggers the movement yes and i think it shouldn't Full ad oh okay yeah let's check how much hp it has after it finishes the upgrade a thousand or two thousand building upgraded a thousand Okay, now it has a turret, and the turret can also be manually controlled, and it doesn't have a sound yet. Okay, can I shift command things? I like how some sounds are actually bypassing my audio settings. Mechs explode, heroes die. I'm saying it doesn't have sound, that's actually not fair, because I turned off all kinds of things. 
That's not fair. I don't know that. But apparently that guy's death is music. <laughs> okay, does it have sound the gun? Oh my god, I just discovered something. Okay, it really doesn't have sound. We don't know what's killing our troops, sire. We cannot hear anything. Okay, I just discovered something you guys might find interesting. Other RTSs, when you press S for stop, you assume idle form. You, in fact, wipe your entire command queue. If I say, attack this, and then I hold shift A this, shift A this, I say, kill this, and when it's dead, kill this, and when it's dead, kill this. This is what's happening. When I press stop, what do you think should happen? Stop attacking altogether, or stop attacking the current target and wipe one part of the command queue? We're right. Orders, I think it should stop attacking altogether, but that's how it works in every game I've ever played. Notice what's happening. Stop. Stop. <laughs> it wipes the first command. There's actually a kind of logic in that. But that means if I do it, a command queue to kill everything. I have to do stop. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, now it stops. <laughs> so now the question is, is there a way to override everything by pressing H? Which is a harder stop command, essentially. H. No, because H is harvester. <laughs> okay, what if I hold S? Does not do anything. Holding S only triggers it once. Control S? Ah, but that's a good one. Maybe Control S uh, would be a way to override this while maintaining this optional functionality. Because I don't think it's actually that bad of an idea to allow someone to interact with a production, no, with the command queue. After all, is it not true that in Warcraft 3 you can make five grunts from a barracks? But because they're all displayed in the UI, you can cancel the grunt in production right now rather than the most recently added one. And why would you want to do that? It's because you want to make your barracks appear as if, it, as if it keeps producing things. You want it to appear like a grunt is about to pop out so that the DK Lich is like waiting to coil Nova it. But you're essentially continually resetting the progress of the grunt. You add one on top and you take this away. You add one on top, you take this away. So you can see how interacting with the production queue could lead to a depth of gameplay that allows me to spin a narrative that my grunt is about to pop out, but you never see anything pop out. So now you're wasting your time waiting next to the barracks, waiting to kill a grunt that's never going to come out. And it's also good when you see, oh, the next seven seconds is dangerous for me to pop my grunt out, but I know he's going to leave soon, so I'll just cancel this one and it immediately restarts production. I'm not going to cancel that one, but yeah, I wanted to create an artificial delay to my grunt popping out. So that's really nice, right? And that could be achieved here, perhaps. What happens when I make Avengers? I am right clicking the last one specifically. Notice how it always still takes 40 seconds to come out. Though there is a very strange jitter in the number when I add or remove production. I wonder if that's actually messing with the total production time or not. I think not. But how do I remove the first Avenger and go back to 50 seconds of production time? It seems like I cannot do that because of the oversimplification of this UI. So that's not something that you sh seem to be able to do here. Interesting. For the protection. Okay, we've checked a lot of this kind of stuff. You cannot do surrounds in this game because they cannot get near enough each other and there's no force move command. So it needs a force move command. Remove all of them. Yeah, but the problem is, yeah, by removing all of them, you, you know the problem? Look, this is an idle factory. This is how a producing factory looks like to an opponent. 
You notice how it's spinning? If I want to tell them that this Avenger is about to pop out, I don't want to do this and then restart it. No matter how fast I do it, do you see the circle up there? And the light here, in fact, there's a really obvious light here of production. I think they made it look good. Idle versus producing. Note that the opponent will probably not see this icon, right, of what it is producing. Uh, they made it obvious when something is production, and this is a good thing in an RTS because it allows experienced players to scout an enemy base and know which buildings are operating currently. There's no way for me to pretend like a unit is going to come out when I have to cancel the most, the first one and then remake it. That's why it's nice to be able to interact with the first unit. Um, okay, so surrounds are not possible. Body blocks are somewhat possible. Harvesters have no collision and auto mine. Sir. Rolling thunder here. Avengers receiving. It's all AI, isn't it? All the voices are AI. Just point me at them. Avengers receiving. Yeah, it sounds a lot like another game that I saw Josh Strife Hayes actually review. Um, and it was like some kind of MMORPG, like this is some kind of weird MMORPG that only five people in the world play. And there were like these skeletons floating around in the desert and they all had AI voices. This is a drunk Welsh or a Scottish Sorry. AI. You can tell because, yeah, the scary one, exactly. So there's just this like electricity, this mechanicalness to part of their voice. You can tell it's, uh, they're placeholders. Are you saying that with authority or assumption? Because I have the same assumption that they're placeholders. Okay, let's summarize. Art, good and good enough uh, and can be improved. Uh, unit movement, generally not bad, but missing some key features. Sound should be expanded upon. Yeah. Battles look pretty good. Uh, from what I can I tell so far, it. unit design. I haven't actually super studied it. Oh, this is a delayed attack. They say what they're going to attack and then they attack it. Interesting. Unit then design seems to be by. interesting, but I would like to do a deeper dive into that next. The game has unit upgrades, at least via talents, and I don't know if there's other unit upgrades. Roll and thunder here. I'll build I, li it. I like that. There's a mechanical research lab. Let's check that out too. Please hand me the drill. Uh, there's the research lab, mechanical research lab, specialized research lab. It doesn't say why I can't build it. Requires advanced factory. So we've got the factory, the barracks, and the advanced factory. I'll get to it. So let's see what all those do. We've got plenty of options, and remember, this is just one of the twelve permutations of factions that you can have, uh, coupled with. Uh, probably mercenary groups Building complete. okay this is the essentially there's three civs right now and there will be a fourth and then there's four options of what mercenary group you can have from the mercenary outpost the Moran which are built here which are ready every now and then how do I make this requires advanced factory okay which we almost have ready so this creates some customizability, but it's not the same as a fully fledged 12th race, right? It's three, four races with four mercenary groups. But it can be an interesting decision, especially when you consider like tournament drafting, potentially. Let's say you are this Sif, whatever they were called, and you're against that Sif, whatever they're called. And that has uh, connotations to which mercenary group would be helpful to fix some imbalance or unit discrepancy. I think that's interesting. Okay, so the advanced factory has a strider, a juggernaut, and a disruptor. A strider is a heavy mech walker capable of housing infantry units, allowing them to attack with increased range. Interesting. Juggernaut, heavy tank, which gains heat as it attacks, can be discharged to do... Oh my god, it's the Colossal Titan! It's the Colossal Titan. It gains heat as it attacks. The only way to defeat this is... Uh, no spoilers. No spoilers. Can be discharged to deal area damage, attacks ground units. Merc Faction also changes the third column of talents. This one? Ah, the third column. Not the third row. 
So top bar, energy buff, unit energy, power from tower. Tower power nerf, shield explosion. For me personally, the UI just breaks known RTS UX and forces to relearn it. Like if an FPS would... The thing is, had my heart. Have you played all of the RTS or do you have like one heavy favorite? Because if you have one heavy favorite, you'll always find yourself comparing it to that. I used to have Warcraft 3 as the one heavy favorite, which meant everything else was inferior and everything should be like Warcraft. But I've also liked Starcraft 2, Starcraft 1, AoE 4. And they all have their own decisions. They are close together in many ways, but they also have differences. And sometimes those differences are improvements. And sometimes games have improvements, but do not follow suit well enough on other more established formulas. I think we should That's be open-minded and recognize which parts are being done better and which parts are being done worse in order to get the best possible gaming experience. All of this is the skeleton to the game. What will be the most decisive is the graphics and marketing is what gets the people first interested to explore a game. And then the fun of the game, Unit production how long they stick with it, production whether they'll stick with it at all beyond like minute 10. And then after that, it's the depth of strategy and the play and counterplay and the core gameplay loop that will keep people in for longer. And those I have not yet discovered, obviously. I don't know yet. Weapons hot. Taking damage. Load engaged. Okay, the, even though this is probably still AI, I, I kind of dig this one. I compare it to Warcraft 3, SC1, SC2, DOW, AOE2, AOE, AO4. They all have button grids. AOE4 is very limited in its UI UX, hat merit. It is. It already is better. In AOE4, you cannot do this move a group of eight and then take three and move them somewhere else. You can't do this in AOE4. You can only interact with the entire group or with none at all. And that really sucks and it always sucked. In AOE4, the Run only way to do what I just did is this. Weapons hot. Which, as you see, is a lot worse than just Skyguard one. clicking in the UI. I can do that. Which is way faster and more accurate. So I hate that about AoE 4, it was so limited, it got better, it's still not good enough. Isn't it split in half in AoE 4? Is it now? I don't think so. Gunship on standby. Not, not when I was uh, maining the game. AoE 2 has split formation, AoE 4 does not. You, it's one of the worst parts of AoE 4, unit control. And this game mostly has improvements. What's up? I really Can't like this. It's so nice. Make it quick. It's fast. Making Though I do happen? think sometimes units abduct each other a bit too much. Right? When I do this. You got my I attention. expect three to go to the left, but notice how it I kind of abducted commander. it kind of abducted the fourth guy for a bit. They got some cool units. I feel like the units look distinct and what different enough. Or, sir? They look distinct and different enough from one another. Uh, in a way that I didn't feel like Stormgate has quite yet achieved. And we shouldn't compare everything, but uh, it's, a it's an aesthetically pleasing looking faction. I think this is a cool, badass looking machine. And this tank looks really gritty as well. I like its... Um, I like the weathering of its Death paint and metal. Avengers receiving. Aura armor module. Click to research. Okay, it's researching. Is it? It's done. Just we now, point me out. We now give armor to infantry. But where do I see people's armor? Avengers oh, receiving. Way. By the way, major cap that I have zero ping. No, it's not possible. Nick and threads. You got it. The secret comes out. This is actually your game, isn't it? It's hosted in your basement. <laughs> uh. So apparently he's giving an armor R right now to units, but I don't know. There is a circle, so he probably has it. Oh yeah, there we go. Wait. Orders, sir. Yeah. Right. 
Does he have armor or not? 11 damage, eight, 9 damage, 11 DPS, reload 0.8. That checks out. Uh, range 880. Armor, light armor, speed 576, vision 1800. The oh, there we go. A 20% damage reduction. 80% damage taken. Well, thanks to this tank's aura. Sorry. Interesting. So, I think so far unit design is pretty interesting. Annihilation. Ready. We've got lots of options of different units. I look forward to playing like an actual game against someone. Uh, but for now, this was my first deep dive into the mechanics and the functionality of everything. And my first look ever of Zero Space. Next time, I will play a full game against a real human player. And we'll start discovering the gameplay loops a little bit. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff if you want. And if you don't want, then don't do it. Because you are an autonomous individual.